So let's check out Ubuntu Deepen Desktop Environment. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I've got something truly exciting to talk to you about. And that is the release of Ubuntu Deepen Desktop Remix 23.04, code name Lunar. And in this video, I wanted to explore the latest features, improvements, and all the goodies packed into this new release. And so if you're a fan of Ubuntu, like me, and love how beautiful the Deepen Desktop environment is, then stick around, you're in for a treat. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm at UbuntuDDE.com. And of course, I always have a link down in the description of the video, but this is Ubuntu Deepen Desktop Environment. And as you can see on the page, it says powerful Ubuntu with the most beautiful desktop environment. Now, just to give you a little introduction to it, but it says Ubuntu Desktop Environment is a remix flavor of Ubuntu system with Deepen Desktop Environment. So basically combining a name, Ubuntu DDE is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu with the most beautiful desktop environment. Now, just so you guys know, this distribution is developed and maintained by the community of Ubuntu DDE. And you can check out their latest blogs, which I want to show you guys the release notes here. So we can go down here, we get hit here, and it'll take us to the release notes of this latest version. And let's go down and hop right into the nitty gritty right here, which is the key features of the Ubuntu Deep and Desktop Environment Remix 23.04 Lunar. And first off, we've got the Ubuntu 23.04 Lobster Lunar based system. And it comes with the Linux kernel of 6.2.0-27. And this basically will ensure a solid foundation for the distribution to work with. But the story of the show is undoubtedly the Deepin desktop environment, which is based on the May 2023 release, complete with its stunning design and user-friendly interface. As you can see right here, also another thing, they have a slew of upgraded DDE based native apps like the Deepin Music app, the Deepin Movies app, the Image Viewer, Bootmaker and System Monitor and more. And another cool thing I saw was that Ubuntu DDE, you know, remix team and the Deepin Linux team came together and created some fresh wallpapers as well as assets to enhance your visual experience. And if we look down here, this gives you the recommended system requirements, which RAM minimum of four gigs, drive space, at least 20 gigabytes of free space, and then at least a two gigahertz processor or better for the CPU. Now, let me show you guys how to get it right fast. All you have to do is go to the download page. That'll bring up the download link for you guys. You got multiple links. You got the official repository, the, the SourceForge mirror, and then you got the torrent P2P or the torrent link right there as well. And they also have a installation guide so you guys can go through that. And it's not that difficult. It's just like installing Ubuntu. And you guys will see that once we go through the install. But before we get there, I wanted to explain why I haven't covered Deepin Linux in a while. I, I've covered some distros that have the Deepin desktop environment loaded on top of it because I think it's like a beautiful desktop environment, super cool. And you'll see that see that when we get to it. But I did a video a while back on Deepin Linux, and this was a couple years ago. And I did not know that there was a controversial behind Deepin Linux, the distribution. And I received like a lot of backlash and comments and feedback that basically raised concerns about the deep in linux being labeled as spyware now a lot of the issues have been resolved but i haven't covered deep in linux since then and i kind of feel bad because i kind of pushed it to the side and forgot about it but it's still an awesome desktop environment as well as a distro and i need to go back and actually check out deep in linux and check and just look at the 
desktop again so i may do that in the next coming weeks but just to give you guys some of the history the controversy actually stemmed from mid 2018 when reports surfaced that the deepin store was sending unencrypted requests to an organization called cnzz from what i remember and basically it's similar to google analytics but in china and those requests seem to be sharing like users, browser agent and other data. And of course, Deepin was developed by a Chinese company. So that raised a lot of concerns because the Chinese government, you know, kind of has a history of censorship and potentially meddling with software. And so a lot of people had those concerns back then and they voiced them under my video, which was super cool to get some feedback. But I was a little worried about it because as a content creator, I don't want to recommend to someone to try something that's potentially spying on them. You get what I'm saying? So I kind of push it to the side, but I've done videos where I've shown people installing the deep in desktop environment on other distros like Orch or like Manjaro or something. You can get this de desktop environment installed or anything. And so that's why I haven't touched it in a very long time. But we gonna touch at least the desktop environment today and like i said later on i'll check out the distro now that we got that out the way let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine we can get this thing rolling and installed before we move forward i wanted to give a quick shout out to ciq the official partner of rocky linux rocky linux is a linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the red hat enterprise linux operating system source code the project is led by gregory kurtzer who was the founder of the CentOS project so check out rocky linux at ciq.co all right so we booted into ubuntu dde let's go ahead and get this thing installed and it doesn't take long it has a script on the desktop that'll open up the installer just like on regular ubuntu and it's the same process same steps so i'm gonna just breeze through it right fast i'm not gonna really cover everything but selection language boom location boom keyboard layout boom i'm just gonna erase the disk and then swap to file just verify that you got the drive set up you know the right drive selected so you don't wipe your system if you're doing this on hardware let's hit next there create our account so i'm just create a josh account and then let's name this udde and then give it a quick password right fast type it in twice and i don't like auto login so i'll leave that unchecked hit next this is just the summary of everything hit install and install now and i'll be back when the installation is complete like i said super simple all right so the installation completed and i went out and rebooted the system so let's go down and get it set up right fast but first thing that'll pop up is updates of course and as you can see there's a lot of them it's about 614 megabytes that need to be downloaded you can look at the details of it it'll go through all the updates for the system you can check it out for yourself or you can remind me later and you can also run it from the terminal just like in regular ubuntu but let me go down and fix the desktop or the display settings right fast let's quickly go in here and i want to show you guys the settings since i have to pull this up anyway and i'll fix the display first and then we'll walk through some of the settings right fast all right cool so let's scroll down let's set up our resolution that way you guys can see it a little better on y'all in while i'm recording it let's save that but here we go this is the this is the main setting so i'll go back to the home page but as you can see your accounts personalization display pretty much every any and everything is for settings on the system so notifications sound power mouse you know date time general settings let's go into general settings right fast and this is where you can go in and set up the boot menu if you want to i just want to show it to you you can go in and check out the systems information super cool and it basically pulls up this little smaller menu when you click on that menu that's kind of why i showed showed it that way first that way you guys can kind of see but this is kind of like a these are like sub menus that show what changes you want to make but the main menu just shows you the image or these logos right here so you can go through and find what you need on the system now let's go back to personalization i want to show you guys a couple other themes so they got a vintage macaron organic glass which i thought is super dope you know i like the way that looks it even changes the background you know what i'm saying so super cool 
and let's just roll with the organic glass hold on let's go back let's go with the let's check out this vintage now nah, let's go back to organic glass and then another thing the appearance you could change that you can set it to dark auto or light is set to default to dork by default which i thought was super cool you got your accent colors just like any of them you got your icon themes you can go in and change that cursor themes if you want to make this look a little bit different you know what i'm saying you got your text settings that just changes up the text size desktop so we can go in here you got a fashion mode and efficient mode and i'll change it to efficient mode so you guys can see the difference but that's the way it looks it, it basically changes the design of the sort menu as well and then fashion mode kind of makes it a dock with all the settings right here on the side which is super dope i like the way this actually looks it's got all your stuff on the dock here at the bottom kind of gives you that mac os theme or look to it you just don't have that top four at the top you know what i'm saying location you can change the location so you put on the left top you know right you know in the bottom is set on the bottom by default you can show statuses so you can keep them shown or you can keep them hidden or smart hide. So recent apps, so that's just, it'll show you the recent apps on the dock. And then you got your plugin area. You can go through windows effects. So you can scale the corners, transparency, you know, you can adjust this. That's one cool thing about deep and you can adjust it to your liking based on your needs. So, all right. So let me go down and close this right fast and go through this board down here at the bottom. I thought it was super cool. So you guys can see it, but that's showing you the updates that it needs. This is, I think a keyboard alert or something like that. You got your networks connection. One cool thing, you know, I always seen on here, it you could just hover over your network connection, it'll show you your IP address. So you don't have to go type in the terminal or, you know, go into your network settings to actually see it. You can pull up your current IP address and that's your local network or your LAN IP address. So your local area network. And then right here, you can click on this. This is some more options. You got your audio settings, your brightness settings. It also brings up the network settings, the search and all that stuff. And then you got your power button right here on the right. Cool, 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 cool. And then let's open up this launcher right fast. So that's kind of like your start menu, just like on the Ubuntu. It's kind of like the start menu. That's all it is. And it brings up all your applications. And one of the things I wanted to check out was, let's see the deep in music you know what i'm saying that's something new or they made a facelift to it they made some changes to it let's go in here and go to about let's just look at it 6.2.27 so that's the latest version of deep in music so that's minimize you can select how you want to do it you can close it you can exit it or minimize it to the tray that way to keep it open and that's a link to it right there and actually let's just go through here and show you so you got your photos and I don't have no photos on here to show you guys this. Like I said, this is a fresh way well, you guys seen it. This is a fresh system. So it's nothing on here at all. I just kind of want to show you guys kind of at least what it looks like. As you can see, the design is a little bit different. I wish I could bring up the last version of deep in so I can compare, but I don't have that installed at the moment. But if you guys have looked at the one of the older versions of Deepin with the Deepin desktop, that older version, you'll notice the difference right off. Let me go down and hit this in. Well, nah, I'm gonna just hit remind me later. So I can go down and close that. Now, file manager. Let's go and check that out. As you can see, the file manager looks super cool on Deepin. That's why they say Deepin is one of like the most beautiful desktop environments that are out there for Linux. It looks super cool at the end of the day. I've even used some of these themes on my main system. So works great. And let's go back under here because the system monitor should have had a facelift as well. So let's go to system monitor and see what we can see as far as the system, how it looks sitting idle. So right now, I think I only gave it, yeah, I only gave it eight gigs of RAM, four gig, it, it gave it four gigs of swap when we did the install. And it's only running off of one processor. Let's check out the details of it. So I gave it one processor, period. So two gigahertz, that's one of my Xeon, you know, processors or the sockets or one of the cores. And so let's go back to processes. Let's see services. You can check out services, processes, Boom. A lot of great information, you know, right in this system monitor in order to monitor the system. Well, what do you guys think about that distro? I thought it was super cool and it has a lot of people talking about it and it's not hard to see why 
you know, because that has that blend of Ubuntu's reliability and the deepens allure that's really catching the attention of a lot of people in the Linux world. And if you're intrigued as I am, you've got to check this one out, you know, so head over to the official download page, download that ISO and go down and check it out for yourself. And if you're loving the content, go down and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any of my latest videos. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course, keep it tight.